morning, Quincy Elner Pelicans, and welcome to a new year here at school. I'm Mrs. Carrera, and I'm here to talk about car rider life. The first thing I wanted to show you was our nifty little car rider signs. These are the signs that your parents are going to be required to hang in the car in order for us to release you to them. I'm going to talk a little bit about safety also. When you finish school at the end of the day at 2.50, you're going to be walking out here to the car rider line. This whole area in front of me is car rider. Kindergartners will sit in the very front, then first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. I'm going to show you now the flags. When you hear your name called in the car rider line, you're going to be escorted out through these gates and you're going to go to the flag where there will be a teacher waiting for you. Up here you will see the flags. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. So for example, you're going to hear your name called. And I'm just gonna do an example and call a student's name. If I was to call Kenzie Elgin, I would say Kenzie Elgin to flag number six. Kenzie would walk out through the gates and come to the number six where there will be a teacher waiting for her. That teacher will escort Kenzie to her car. And we're just gonna walk over to one of the cars now and just pretend that Kenzie's here with us and getting in the car. teacher is going to check make sure that your parents have their sign hanging in the car then she will he, she or he will open the door and put you in the car then you'll wait a few minutes until all the cars are loaded and then all the cars will be released at one time and you can safely go home now we're going to talk a little bit about what happens when your parents drive into the parking lot we're going to stop the video for a second hi i'm mrs alex jg and i also do the car line in the afternoon when your parents arrive here in the afternoon they will pull into our parking lot and then they will stop right here and i will release them to go that way we'll have two lines at a time going in they'll go around get their child and come back out to here where I will stop them again until all traffic is clear and then I will release them. Now, when the buses, which are all in this area, are ready to go, everybody stops. I stop traffic here and here and all the buses go before I start traffic again. Okay, thank you so much. Hey Pelicans, Miss Weiss, Miss Murray, and Miss Stephens here to tell you all about how to ride our buses. As you approach the buses, make sure that you walk and on the yellow pathway. If your bus is not here, please go to the colored part that corresponds to your bus number and wait there. When you get to the end of the walkway, check the board to see what order your bus is in and then go straight to your bus. As you get onto your bus, step safely using the handrails. Good morning, Amy. Hello. It's always nice to greet your driver. Go quickly straight to your seat and make sure you're seated. Booty on the chair, backpack on the floor, facing forward at all times. It's great to talk to your friends, but make sure we're not shouting. Friend. Driving is difficult and we don't want to distract our driver. When it's your stop, wait for the bus to stop. Stand up. Grab your stuff, walk to the front of the bus. Make sure you wish your driver a great day. Have a great day. Thanks, thanks for your good behavior today too. And get off and go straight home. One, two, three. It only takes a spark.